let a equals to 3 root 2 and b equals to 1 by 5 to the power of 1 by 6 into root 6. Then we have been given two equations. We have to find out what is the value of 4x plus 5y. Now this is a simple linear equation in two variable problem. How it is complicated is instead of giving the numbers they have given logarithms. So we have to know the properties of logarithms and simplify them and get the value on the right hand side equals to some rational numbers. Then we can just use elimination method and find out the values of x and y. Then we can easily find out 4x plus 5y. Now, what is the formula we are going to use to work with the logarithms here is, suppose we have logarithm of a power x with a base a power y, then it is equals to x by y. Log of a to the power of x with base a power y, then that is equals to x by y. Now, let's go to the first. We have log of 18 to the power of 5 by 4 with base a. What is a? 3 root 2. That is root 18. That is 18 to the power of 1 by 2. Now you can see that we have the same format as a power x and a power y. So answer will be 5 by 4 divided by 1 by 2 that is equals to 5 by 2. So we have 3x plus 2y equals to 5 by 2. Now let's go to the next equation. We have to now simplify log of square root of 10802 base b. Now what is that 1080 prime factorization that is 5 into 6 cube. So we will write down square root of 1080 we can write it as log of 1080 that is 5 into 6 cube whole to the power of 1 by 2. Now what is b let us see b is 5 to the power of minus 1 by 6 6 to the power of minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. Now how can we write this with respect to 5 into 6 cube? We can write it as 5 into 6 cube whole to the power of minus 1 by 6. So let us go and write down in place of b 5 into 6 cube whole to the power of minus 1 by 6. Let us apply the same formula here whatever we did earlier we will get 1 by 2 divided by minus 1 by 6 and that is equals to minus 3. So second equation we got 2x minus y equals to minus 3. Now we have simple linear equation in two variables we have to just solve them properly by using elimination method. So easiest is to cancel out y variable because we have plus 2y and minus y. Let's multiply second one with 2. So we'll have 3x plus 2y is 5 by 2 and 4x minus 2y equals to minus 6. When you combine them 2y 2y will cancel you get 7x equals to 5 by 2 minus 6 that is minus 7 by 2. 7x is minus 7 by 2 that means x equals to minus 1 by 2. Now we can easily find out y value by substituting in 2x minus y equals to minus 3. 2x minus y equals to minus 3 which gives us y equals to 2x plus 3 which is equals to 2 into minus 1 by 2 plus 3 that is minus 1 plus 3 which is equals to 2. So x equals to minus 1 by 2 and y equals to 2. What we need to find out is 4x plus 5y. x is minus 1 by 2 and y equals to 2. What we need to find out is 4x plus 5y. 4x plus 5y, 4 into minus 1 by 2 plus 5 into 2. 4 into minus 1 by 2 is minus 2, minus 2 plus 10 which is equals to 8. So our answer is fill in the blanks. The answer will be integer will be 8. Let us have a recap of this problem. It is a linear equation in two variable problem what we solved in 10th grade. Now only the thing is it was made a little bit complicated instead of giving the direct rational numbers we have been given logarithms. So we have to know this property that logarithm of a number a to the power of x with a base a to the power of y answer will be x by y. So what we did we have written a in terms of whatever the small a in terms of 18 and small b in terms of 5 into 6 cube. We are able to get 
that 3x plus 2y is 5 by 2, 2x minus y is minus 3. We applied, we used elimination method, we calculated the values of x as minus 1 by 2 and y equals to 2. Then we substituted and we got 4x plus 5y equals to 8.